Tesla's Model S has changed the perception that electric vehicles have to be oddball. The large, luxurious sedan is very much a mainstream player now. Performance in its most powerful versions is supercar-like and without the tailpipe emissions. It's an attractive design too and the interior is trimmed to a quality standard but I can't help think that the switch gear could be updated just a little bit. The Model S hasn't entirely left behind its high-tech trappings either. Its massive human machine interface screen is really easy to use, highly flexible and very informative. If you've ever used an iPad or similar tablet device, you'll find this Tesla touchscreen system effortless to use. The Model S is well packaged and very user friendly. It's roomy inside and the sports seats are very well shaped for comfort and support. Unlike some hybrids and other EVs, there's a decent amount of room in the back because the lithium ion batteries are all under the floor of the car. These batteries add significant weight however, and although it corners quite well for such a large car, particularly one weighing over two tonnes, it's no apex hunting supercar. This Model S is the 70D, and although it lacks the aptly named ludicrous mode, it can knock over 0 to 100 kilometres an hour in just 5.4 seconds. Forget turbo lag or transmission steps. The Model S is all power, all the time. <laughs> The Tesla is also extremely docile in traffic and it rides very comfortably too. Car enthusiasts will hate the Model S. Where's the sound, the fury, the cloud of soot? Well, better get used to it guys because this is the future and we absolutely love it. <laughs>